Tater? Oh, you're selling school property? What are you talking about? I've had this Principal Tater nameplate since I was five. <laughs> well, I'm taking this microscope. Great, that'll be five bucks. Derby, this is mine. This is my name on the bottom. Then three bucks. <laughs> Two bucks. That is my final offer. <laughs> Wait, Mom, where'd you get those comic books? They're not for sale. You never read them anymore. They're not for reading, they're for hoarding. <laughs> well, you can relax. I only sold one, and it was an old one. Which old one? I don't know. The one with the guy with the bulgy pants. You sold Mr. Marvelous number one. Do you have any idea how much that issue is worth? 75 cents. Ish. You only got 75 cents? Ish. He talked me down to 60. <laughs> Honey, if it's so important, just ask the boy who bought it to give it back. He's right over there. Slab? Perfect. Hey, everyone, new merchandise. Well, not new, but gently used. Him over there, making direct eye contact with my comic. I can feel the value plummeting. Adam, as the Dalai Lama teaches, we must never be defined by our possessions. It was worth 800 bucks. Even Dolly would agree. That buys a lot of sandals. Hey, uh, Slab, that's my comic. I've had it for years. I can't even remember the day I bought it. I remember the day I bought it, too. It was cloudy. I'll never forget the look on that kid's face when he was trying to get it back from me. Slab, you may not realize this, but you accidentally stumbled onto a valuable treasure. That comic book is worth eight dollars. <laughs> but I'll give you 20 for it. Forget it. Mr. Marvelous doesn't do what he does for money. He does it because the streets of Urban City are crawling with scum. Well, thanks for trying. Where, where'd you get 20 bucks anyway? Oh, I sold the toilet. Occupied. Hello, newsies. Welcome to the school paper. <laughs> first things first. No sniffing for scoops at the speakeasy. What's a speakeasy? Exactly. <laughs> Next, we need to pick someone to crank the printing press. Let's see who's got the muscles. All right, niblet. Show me what you got in those pipe cleaners. Actually, I was thinking, what if we broadcast the news instead? A modern twist, eh? Great idea. <laughs> Scandalous. I meant doing a news show and putting it on the web. The web? You really think spiders would be interested in the affairs of man? There's gotta be some way to get Slab to give me back my comic book. Forget it. He'll never do it. He's a bad guy. And we all know no one can defeat a bad guy. Mr. Marvelous defeats bad guys all the time. I hate to break this to you, but I'm afraid there is no Mr. Marvelous. Oh, Derby, I know. I mean, it's the only explanation for why he's never responded to all my letters. <laughs> Unless Professor Vortex traveled back in time and hit all my pens, preventing me from ever writing those letters. <laughs> You win this round, Vortex. I bet if I dressed up like Mr. Marvelous, I could convince Slab to give me back the comic book. Yeah, but Mr. Marvelous has superpowers and you don't. Wait, do you have superpowers? You've been holding out on me. 
I expect this kind of behavior from Vortex, but you... <laughs> the only superpower I need is science. Despite what you may think, boring people to sleep is not a superpower. <laughs> I mean, by applying the principles of propulsion and thermal transfer, I can simulate the... The news. No. And now, the news. No. And now, the news. Echo, be a lamb and get me some green tea with honey. Not too much honey, because if there's too much honey, I'm going to crack this mug over your head. And I don't want to have to do that, because this is my favorite mug. I don't get tea. Well, there are these leaves you pour hot water over, creating a flavorful beverage. I know what tea is, but I'm the anchor woman. Anchor woman is my dream job. It's like modeling, only sitting. All right, everyone, your anchor woman's here. I assumed it would be one of us. And I assumed it would be one of me. You two walking sticks. Please. The viewers want a little cheesecake. Wow. The tension just flew by with this baby. And all the way to page four. You there, citizen. <laughs> Mr. Marvelous? Yes, tis I, Mr. Marvelous, champion of the people, protector of the people, and friend to all people. I know who you really are. You do? You do? <laughs> yes, you really... Dirk Dempsey, wealthy industrialist and notorious skirt chaser. Keep it down, citizen. That's my secret identity. How can I help you, Mr. Marvelous? Anything, just name it. I would like you to return that comic book to me so that I may return it to its rightful owner, the smart, charming teacher it belongs to. <laughs> FYI, teachers are the real heroes. No disrespect, Mr. Marvelous, but I did buy it fair and square. Perhaps you'll give it to me in exchange for a display of my Impressive powers. Yeah, I got a few minutes. I'll start with superhuman strength. Superhuman strength coming up. Look, some irresponsible metal worker carelessly left this steel rod here. Oops. Clang! That was pretty impressive. Well, and I guess you'll just give me... Now do heat vision. Very well. Setting heat vision to 350 degrees. Preheating. Awesome! Cookies! Ahem. It would be my honor to give you this comic book, Mr. Marvelous. Thank you, citizen. Well, crime fighting calls. I must fly off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Actually, 
I'll just stay here. <laughs> Enjoy the weather. <laughs> oh, I remember when I did that. <laughs> that takes me back. Good news. I spoke to Ranji Eaton, Winch Customer Support. They're sending someone out Tuesday between 9 and 6. <laughs> Customer support guys are the real heroes. <laughs> At least I got my comic book back. Wow, Mr. Marvelous! Oh. Hello there, young lad. You are my favorite superhero. Could I have your autograph? Sure. On that comic book? This comic book? <laughs> but this is Mr. Marvelous number one. You must have plenty of copies back in your citadel of isolation. I'd love to autograph this for you, but I don't have a pen. I've got one. <laughs> Vortex. Here you go. Aren't you prepared? <laughs> this is so cool. Thank you, Mr. Marvelous. Well, I guess it's time for Mr. Marvelous to hang up his cape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're not even going to get my pen back from Vortex? <laughs> oh, thanks. Ah, uh, Vortex to the tip. <laughs> Vortex! In V. I, V. I, I, I. Welcome to Finnegan High News. Our top story. Maintenance has just completed work on painting the second floor hallway. Let's go there live. <laughs> we'll check back later for the exciting removal of the sign. In the meantime, I've got a real story. There's been a sighting of Mr. Marvelous right here at our very own school. Mr. Marvelous, the fictional superhero, Am I going too fast for you? <laughs> we have footage captured by this cub reporter. As you can see from this Teddy Cam security footage, metal workers are incredibly irresponsible. <laughs> Since Ivy broke that story, the whole school's in the grip of marvelous mania. He is pretty awesome, but we all know teachers are the real heroes. <laughs> if only I could get one great scoop. What if I could get you an exclusive interview with... A teacher? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. How about Mr. Marvelous? I could get you an interview with the guy on that tape. Really? That would be amazing. Be in the quad at 7 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks like this is a job for... <laughs> my mom! <laughs> because I don't know how to sew buttons. Hello there, intrepid journalist. Hi, Adam. So the mask didn't fool you, <laughs> even for a second? I'd recognize those blue eyes anywhere. Thanks. And that concave chest. <laughs> Again, thanks. So that was really you in the teddy cam footage? <sighs> wow, this actually is a good scoop. Let me get you on camera unmasking. Well, I guess there's no harm. Slab probably doesn't watch the news. Here you are, Mr. Marvelous. I've been looking all over for you. Because you wanted to return my comic book, which you read carefully while wearing acid-free museum-grade cotton gloves? No. It's my dog, Crackers. He got out of the backyard and then was taken by the dog catcher. He sounds like quite a villain. So you're going to help me get him back, right, Mr. Marvelous? Of course he is. I mean, he is a true hero. Not like a teacher or something. <laughs> And that concludes my special report on Mr. Marvelous and his promise to help a desperate little boy save his dog. And now for the weather. Mrs. Byrne, I don't think this map is current. Just do the weather. Fine. Well, it's going to be sunny this weekend in Mesopotamia. But stay away from the beaches. They're always crawling with Sumerians this time of year. So you call this dog catcher and he's coming here? To our house? I'll just talk to him and get him to give crackers back. 
Then I'll put in the suit one last time and give Jimmy his dog. Everyone's happy, except me, because my mom sold my comic book. She also went through 32 hours of labor. Let's call it even. I'm here. What do you want? Please come in. I want to talk to you about crackers. What about them? They're square, they're salty. They're good in soup. I mean the dog crackers. Dog crackers? They're hard to chew, but they're good for the teeth. OK, let's just start over. I'm trying to get this kid his dog back. Look, pal, I'd like to help you, except for the helping part and the you part. Besides, it's not like I carry them around with me. What? This is my laundry. <laughs> wow, that guy knows a lot about crackers. I'd love to pick his brain someday. I was going to say, is evil? The man carries around a bag of puppies. How am I going to get Jimmy his dog back? Hello, is this the dog catcher? Yes, there's a wild mutt on the loose. It ruined my prize win Peruvian petunias. <laughs> I saw it heading for Finnegan High. Yes? Oh, and while I have you on the phone, I have an assortment of strong cheeses. And I'm looking for a cracker that will compliment but not overpower them. <laughs> anyway, come quick. OK, he's on the way. Great. Uh, I'm going to go change. Me too. Wait. Why'd you dress up like that just to make the phone call? I don't understand the question. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, dog catcher. But the only thing you're going to catch is my drift when I tell you you're not going to catch any dogs here. Catch my drift, drift catcher. That's what they're gonna call you after tonight, the drift catcher. Huh? Oh, just give me crackers back. Not gonna happen. That dog was causing a disturbance, and I plan on taking care of him later tonight. And I don't mean taking him for walkies. <laughs> because I took him for walkies earlier. Well, then you leave me no choice. <laughs> Are you feeling warm at all? I can take off a layer. <laughs> That's better. That didn't work out, and clearly neither does he. Can I have a minute? By all means. Uh, superhero 101. Always putting fresh batteries before facing off the arch nemesis. Oh, oops. Gotcha! You walked right into my portable dog cage. Let me out of here! Why should I? Because if you don't, you're gonna have to deal with me. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Mr. Marvelous's trusted sidekick. Awesome boy. <laughs> Mr. M, I see you're in a hairy situation, and I'm talking about this guy's chest. Look. Kids, your jammies are cute, but I'm more than a match for the two of you. There are more than two of us. Don't make the bulk angry. <gasps> In case it was unclear, I'm the bulk. And I am Weather Girl. Not to be confused with the Weather Girl, which is a position I find demeaning to women and is in no way associated with my superhero persona. Although there is a cold front coming through, so I recommend you put your shirt back on. Well, I happen to be the weather girl. <laughs> Looks like you're outnumbered. You see, dog catcher, there really is only one superpower. Friendship. <laughs> no, gravy. <laughs> You think a little gravy's gonna stop me? Uh, uh, <laughs> hmm. 
Mmm. Saltines with gravy. Simple yet elegant. <laughs> gravy might not stop you, but this bag of hungry dogs will. <laughs> and I'm going to open it on the count of five. As if one. You don't scare me. Four. We did it! Yeah, we. Guys? <laughs> Guys? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> this just in. My hearing aid. <laughs> now, today's top story. A happy ending in the missing dog case. For more on that, we go to our roving reporter, live in the field. Thank you, Mrs. Byrne. Well, a great day here at Finnegan, as Mr. Marvelous saved little Jimmy's dog from the evil shirt list. Doc. Uh, here we go, Jimmy, your beloved crackers. That's not crackers. Oh. Sorry about that. Here's crackers. Uh-uh. He's in here somewhere. I'll just look on the bottom. 